Hello there guys, this is DC Trader for another market update and this is today is October 20. So let us take a look at our favorite market aside from our P our Philippine stock index. So basically here as I was we were looking on I was thinking that the market is trying to go up 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 and now for the for 5 days there is sort of like a a downtrend coming here so and I feel it went back to which area guys to where most of the sellers started the big downtrend and now the market broke out and now it's trying to test this particular area now the funny thing is why the market really moves right the market moves away and it's magnetized to this particular moving average and if we drew this particular line here, where is it coincide on our five minute? Just below here. <laughs> Imagine that guys. Imagine that. It's like a, like a computer here, right? So another thing also, I also drew this Fib Fibonacci, right? Which is this is the 50%, right? 50% and then these are the uh, other levels, the 23, 38, from the bottom. Because your goal here, if you are the seller here, you want it to retest again at this area here. You want to go down here. Now, if you are the buyer, you want it to go above this area here, right? So let us see who wants this tug of war. Now, currently the market seems, it feels like if the sellers will run out in this area here, this can go up if not then there have a continuation to the downtrend now today I have a uh, small uh, surprise to you guys here basically I would like to let you guys see what's a, a scalping of a day trader looks like so this is the uh, like I said uh, the five minute of the ES which is the futures market as well as you may wondering what is this it looks different this is actually a, a tick chart now a tick chart is different from a minute chart which is mini chart is based on time every five minutes it has to produce a candle whereas this one every 2000 orders it will produce a candle so it's a little different so let us just watch this video here and I'll explain to you how I'll come about for this particular trade so basically this is around 9, 9 in the evening or around 9.30, right? And of course you guys know this is a typical MACD here, right? So I was feeling that the market was kind of pretty range bound. And I also marked this particular level here. I feel that this is first entry, second entry. So I feel this was a pretty good support for this particular market. And when it dropped down here, it already had a, a it tested here right and then from the bottom first entry second entry and it went up there so my feeling was I don't want this one to drop here if you want this one to go up right that's my feeling and also you could draw a line there right it looks like a trend line going up so that's why I was preparing my orders of the market right all right, so let's see what happens. Then when the market triggered me here, right? I I put my stop just below here because my feeling the market might not go down here. It has a more chance to go up, right? Okay, let's see what happens. My guess the market will try to go up above these sellers here and they did so basically that's that's it that's a small trade but uh, for this one right you have to wait for all of these so it took a while for wait but there's one thing I learned over the years you really have to be a 
patience is really needed for trading and I've been doing this for quite a while although there are mo some days that you're not successful because you are really impatient right so this is what's that area that I was looking at right so I was feeling that the market was pretty on the range bound and it tried to go up and of course the market tank right but I was only predicting this particular area and I'm trying to do one trade a day just to uh, minimize the risk so that's about for this market and let's go to our favorite market which is the PSE okay the Philippine stock index and today what did we see guys a continuation here guys now that's pretty good day today so let's take a look at the five minutes so I guess you guys understand why I I like to look at the five minutes because I actually take a look at the five minutes every night <laughs> yeah but anyway today you remember yesterday we uh, we were saying that the market was up and actually they did not pass the ball to the sellers they continue to go up so which means that I'm feeling that there are no sellers to be found in this area maybe the next stop zone is this area here which is around this area here that's my feeling for this particular market right now as long as they don't pass the ball down they have a chance because that's could be that if you think about this first entry second entry went up so there's a lot of sellers in this market here so my guess the market may want to continue if not then you will know it all right so this is for this market and the next market that we're going to be discussing is pure gold now uh, you may wonder why i really love pure gold guys uh, just to let you know here let us give you a little bit of a feedback here actually i would like to uh, let you see um, what's currently under in my portfolio right now <laughs> so you now now you may see that okay I have BDO here I'm oh, sorry about that guys uh, you have a BDO sub HLCM pure gold and if you take a look at pure gold right I'm actually down negative almost 10% down right right so you're pretty down there so of course tech is also down so what happened was I'll explain to you what happened and what was my mindset now of course again guys this is not a recommendation for you to buy this is just um, um, this is my experience on how I would manage this particular trade this is a losing trade but I'm trying to make it a winning trade right so basically my thinking was at this particular time I bought at this particular area 48 around 48 70 right what was that at that particular day the market was doing this so and basing on my calculation it was green I feel that the market had some upside momentum right and what happened was it break down because that is the second entry that's why if you mark that line aha uh -huh. so I was feeling the next time I'm planning to buy this particular stock was in this area what I did not notice that it dropped even harder right so the next time I bought was around this at the bottom which was around 40 41 65 right so my average right was around here in the middle right so what most traders do right if they if the market goes against them this is not um, a good trade sometimes right you may have to do a stop loss but for some traders what they do they would buy average out that's what they say average out right this is what you call a semi trading semi investing account right so that's what I would say that that way so the way my feeling here if you take a look at back at my average my average is 45 40 right so around here right so the only way I can get I can only get positive around this zone right 
<laughs> Lord, Lord and behold, look at the moving average just around there. So, and what happened today, guys? Like I was discussing to you that this particular stock, I really hope that it would break what number again? 42.50. And what happened today? It it actually opened, went up directly to 42.50. So you know buyers are here right and what happened to the buyers the seller answered back and now it is on the seller's court right now so I don't know I feel that they may be a continuation to the downside right the only way this will change is that if the market open here and continue to break up that could be if not then this market will still maybe go down now what is my next plan for this one if it breaks down here what should I do right all right so let us go to there right so let us think of ourselves if we were the buyers who bought going up for this stock right and it went down right so let's take a look at that right the way I did it was I the way I did estimation is from here actually if you want if you go up there my feeling is this this particular area is 50% right I also feel this particular area I'm gonna watch closely like a hawk my feeling is that from the bottom is first entry to the downside and a second entry it went up so there's buyers here right now if the buyers break down this level I may have to buy this area here I may mark that one that's the way I will manage this trade which is remember I bought here and I'm buying here and if you think about that where should I buy next approximately here so that's why I'm also preparing my orders to see what, what would happen right so my guess is that I hope this market will go above 4250 and stay above there and to go back around this area and I may wanna get out with a break even break even and a loss a bit right that's how I would manage this trade right so that's about it for this market so let's hope that there is some jump start to the going up right so what's the next one the next one would be BDO now BDO is finding a ways guys Finding a way to go up. Woo! I was also, and of course, you guys know this. I also had a very big <laughs> portfolio there, but in terms of BDO, but I feel this BDO is has a chance to the upside. Now, I would only say only 60%, guys. Only 60%. Right? So this is what happened. Now, if you take a look at this. I always like to draw these guys, you remember? Uh, this is the bulls, the buyers, the sellers, the buyers, the sellers, and the buyers. And currently, it still is the buyer's market, although it dropped here a bit, right? But I feel this is still a buyer's market until it goes down like that, right? So what I'm saying is, if the market drop here, right, right now, and tomorrow it retests again like that like that oops sorry and that's the start of the sellers here if it only does that if it goes up directly then it's still a buyer's market there now this particular area here from the low here it went up once and twice so this area seems to be a second entry to the downside and what happened it just went up then sellers try to defend 
to go down see so you see that candle it went up and goes down so you know that there are a lot of sellers in this particular zone now let's hope that tomorrow we can give them a and a so we can continue now now let's take a look at the monthly for this let's see here the monthly for this what I like about BDO's monthly is take a look at these guys so although from the bottom first in first to the downside second to the downside and ever since there we're trying to go up so my feeling is as long as our Philippine index is going up this market may have a chance to go above or in this area 9352 so let's hope that tomorrow the market have enough push because wait wait if you go back here if you are the buyer who bought here 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 and here and including here you want this market to go up to reach this area here around 93.52 right you don't want to stay that that low right you want to push up so my feeling and it, de it also feels like the market can achieve this particular area so let us feel that tomorrow let's hope and let's give these BDO guys a cheer <laughs> okay so what's the next one the next one guys is MM Whoa, now MM guys all right what happened to MM today okay guys let's continue so let's go to MM so Mary Mart so what happened today in Mary Mart oh my goodness it's a down day oh. all right let's make it bigger so actually yesterday we were discussing the market going to this level of 3334 around this particular area and my guess was it was trying to go up but today what happened the market just tank it looks to me that there's a lot of sellers in this area and they want to push it down right now did they have some continuation they did right so now let's take a look at the market over here or the daily so you know that there is a a trend line coming up and you feel that the market may be able to reach this 307 308 tomorrow so where is that in this five minute area lord and behold it is this particular area where before sellers sellers buyers support so my feeling is tomorrow maybe the market will drop here and after that i hope that the market may be able to push up right maybe push up do this and continue right that's my feeling for this particular market right otherwise they could go down more but that's my feeling because this makes sense this particular area an area of support around this area right which is also second entry from here this area here from the top here right so they could want to go in there right so that's for mm right the next stock that we'll be discussing will be hlcm the factory and of course guys i know it's also part of my portfolio <laughs> so let's see what happens to this particular stock now as i understand i was thinking that the market could have gone to a like measured move now the good thing is that the market is trying to do a support around this particular area right which is that particular area and then it's trying to go up which is good right we want it that way now these the, the only two levels that we should be aware is the 584 and the 571 
Now if we take a look at that here on the 5 minute candle Although currently right now the market seems to be the buyer seems to be on the upper hand but I'm not so sure what will happen at these two levels here now if we go above these two levels and stay there that is the another chance for us to be going to this area 644 now let us take a look at the monthly for this particular stock right now for the monthly for this particular stock how did I get that this area was the second entry let's go here I use this one so the way we count it broke this high so counted as a new high here and it dropped down so this is the first entry no uh, zero first entry second entry so my feeling is the market may be trying to go up to link with this to go to that area there where you see a moving average just this like this thing right because it's like a spring guys when the market goes down too far it will go up to this area here and from here we don't know what's gonna happen right so my feeling is you may want to jump up so that's why I always say 60 40 because this can go down too right so there is a more chance of an over upper hand so that's for this particular market now that's why if you notice here I also draw a Fibonacci from this low to this high and my find right now we're currently under the 50 area 50% and we may be going up right so that's my feeling for this market so let's hope that these guys can continue right so the next one would be one of our favorite stock right now that is so adrenaline pump JFC guys take a look at this guys now JFC what happened now from yesterday we were discussing JFC was still here right and actually around where did the market let's make this one bigger so today yep the market and here and today it just started open and jump up Wow now that is a bullish market guys like the last time the sellers were trying was over here 47 and we can see that here right take a look at that guys so you're telling me right now that the market started from this area here and all bulls now that's a very powerful market you don't want to go against that guys you don't want to go against that right the market start here and then this particular area let's make this one bigger right let's make this one bigger this particular area was they did some distribution here which is coincide with this particular area right and this strong breakout now would they be a, would they have a continuation tomorrow well let's take a look at this I would say yeah they may still have a chance but all right so let's try to delete these uh, Fibonacci so to give us a what I'm trying to calculate here is where do I want to buy again for this particular stock if I have an opportunity right I may want to start to buy if the market goes back down in this area here I don't want to buy there 
because it's too high already it can but it can still go up high now if you take a look at this area here would you do a fib right look at that number 168 66 169 look at that it's just near area and 50 percent this is actually 50 percent from the downtrend it looks to me so my feeling i would love the bar jollibee to go back to 150s i may want to start buying there again right so another thing the way i also do it right to have a target for the buyers let's do a reverse so from down here let's make this one to green and let's put it up it's more like uh, the way I do it is double the move right and it feels like I would say from here to here so it double it almost doubles up so I would say this particular area is very their target I would say around 190 this particular area they can still continue though right so my feeling there would be some resistance around this particular zone here right but I wish I wish Jollibee will give us a chance here to go back and go back again you know just to double test if there's still some sellers in this area right so that's for this particular stock and the last stock that we're going to be discussing is tech so for tech guys the market just shoots up which is good right <laughs> I also am negative with this stock but I feel this market is still in a I would say where the market went down here and of course market go up went down and ever since the market go up tried to go down here and currently we are on a uptrend so as long as they don't go back to this particular zone around 534 534 is the one I don't want the market to go back down around this area here if the market does not go back down there it may still have a chance now the only bad thing about this is from down here first entry second entry it looks to me there might be some resistance around here sellers may want to push it down so let's hope that the market can can continue to push up now they can continue their momentum to reach here now if we take a look at that on the monthly combination right if you change this one to tech it still feels like say 7640 it feels like it want to go up here right and this also although from the from the bottom first entry second entry to the downside so this particular may have a chance to go up like there's a bigger chance to go up 60 again 60 percent so let's see what happens tomorrow for tech so let's hope these guys tech jfc p gold bdo and the whole of our philippine stock market is gonna beat those sellers out let's give them a punch and thank you guys very much and uh hope to see you tomorrow and then uh thank you for subs for my new subscribers as well as my new viewers take care and uh have a good evening